Hello and welcome to my lead pages review where I'm going to be going over many of the pros and cons when it comes to this landing page builder that's been around for a good amount of time now. In fact, they've been around so long, they've made a lot of great improvements, which I think you're going to like as I kind of dive deeper into some of their best features that they have to offer. First and foremost, let's talk about their landing pages. If you're looking to create landing pages, that's what lead pages is all about, given their name, of course. First thing right off the bat, I love the fact that they have a good variety of templates. As you can see, I can scroll down much farther. There's going to be more, but oops, let me go back up. What I like the most is that they are perfect for generating leads. I've looked at a lot of landing page builders, and as you can see, the main goal is here is just generate leads. Like that's what you want. That's what you're going to get. Another great aspect here is that they actually sorted by conversion rate if you want, could be most popular or the newest. Now, if you look at something here, something I talk about so much that lead pages has down really well, the best converting ones are the simplest. If you look at these right off the bat, it's kind of a couple tips for you as well. You'll notice that everything's above the fold. It's very simple. The person doesn't have to scroll up or down. The action is very easy to see, as you can see all the buttons here, uh, and that's gonna make for much higher conversions. I mean, look at this, super basic squeeze page, absolutely. like. Anyone could put that together, but you know what? It converts very highly as they've seen, and I'll show you another way of knowing that. Anyway, let's just go to this one, one of the best ones. Let's click on Start Building. I'm gonna give it a name, okay? Click on Continue. So if you look at this, everything is pretty much above the fold. You might have to scroll down a little, but you're not looking at two or three pages here. Like when someone arrives on this, this is basically what they're going to be seeing. And it's so easy for them to opt in, you know, ready to get your free guide. You can have your ebook here, obviously change around your text, your tips. Another great thing here, in case you're not super experienced when it comes to creating landing pages, the lead meter. And this is something I completely agree with. The more uh, checkbox you knock off when it comes to this, the chances are it's going to convert much higher. So it says fewer than three videos, fewer than two videos, countdown window is brief, a button is easily readable, right? CTA is fewer than 24 characters, CTA text drives action, uh, bullet list is concise, and so on and so forth. This is pretty much everything I talk about. And I love that they have that built, in, built into their landing page builder. Not not too many have that, which is always cool. There's always the uh, option for expert feedback, which is much newer. I haven't utilized this, but it's also great in case you're not too familiar with landing pages. It says, now you can get an in-depth advice and custom feedback from our conversion marketing experts in just two business days. So if you have some doubts, any questions, that's also something really cool that you can do. Now, when it comes to their landing page builder, they've always been pretty simple. In fact, when they many years when they came back, I thought I just kind of liked them, but overall, they've made it a much better process. They have improved it, which I like. One thing in terms of pros and cons, I wouldn't say it's a true drag and drop builder. And I talk about this all the time when I'm doing landing page builders. If something is true, drag and drop, as I like to refer to it as, doesn't make lead pages bad. What you can do is you can take this and move it anywhere you want on the page. You'll notice how I'm kind of restricted towards that. So you can go drop here, drop here, drop here, or here. So while it's not that bad, it makes it much easier for you to put it where you need to go. I like that true free range of motion where I could just take this and drag it right here if I wanted to in that spot, and then maybe move this over to that spot and so on and so forth. So, so overall, while it's not the worst thing in the world, I would prefer the fact that if I had a little bit more freedom with the drag and drop ability, either way, it's still going to be very easy to edit, you know, edit your text here. Anytime you double click something, a lot of the rest is going to be standard when it comes to using any other type of landing page builder. It's more on click on it, edit it, change it, do whatever you want to do, you know, edit image. This is where you can add from a link or create your own. And if you need help when it comes to the layouts and sections, you click on each of these sections. Sections is a cool one. You can actually drop these. These are uh, a couple of landing page builders have been picking up on this, but like if you wanted to add this in here, let me just whoop, scroll down. There we go. Drop here. Obviously, you can't drop it in the middle, but something like that is something that you can do. There's also the back button. Thank God. I love that landing page builders now have this. Overall, it's kind of like what you see is what you get. Whatever you have here, double click on it, edit, change it around. My advice is to pick a landing page template that's going to be very similar to what you want to do. That means you're going to have less work to do. You're not going to have to drag and drop too many things. You're not even going to have to make too many edits. And of course, you can help keep the lead meter up in terms of the rating to help you get more conversions. And of course, if you're looking to increase your conversions even more, the split test feature is very easy to use. So I had published a landing page called Lander A. So I'm going to use this as the control. This is going to be the main page. 
And aside from that, we're going to need to create a variation or just choose one. So click on add a variation. Now, what you can do is either copy this page and make a change, or just if I had already done that, I would click on choose a different page. So I'm going to go to B and we have those. So let's click next. We want it even. Normally you do want to do that just to see what's going to get the best conversions. Click on next. And just like that, looks like you're all set. That's as easy it is to create a split test. I know I didn't get in there and get to show you how to like change around the headline, but you know how to do that. And to just give you one tip, usually you want to change around one thing. It's probably going to be the headline on your lead page, landing page, specifically because that comes with the biggest benefit. And that's what usually is going to allow the most amount of people to opt in. That's of course something you can test out. Aside from that, Lead Pages does have the ability to help create websites. While I am not big on this, it is a nice feature if that's something extra you're looking to look for and kind of get started with. Once again, very similar to their landing pages. You can go by conversion rate, most popular or newest, but it actually works in the same exact way when it comes to creating uh, landing pages. So let's go to this one, give it a name called website and continue. And as you can see, it's going to be the same like landing page editor. So that's the cool thing. I like that whenever someone has different types of features, but they use the same builder. So when it comes to the websites, the landing pages and a few other features, when I'm going to show you, you're going to be looking at the same thing. So you got your pages, your layout, your section, your widgets, your styles, and your settings. And of course, very similar to before, if you wanted to change anything, obviously, you know, double click, change it, drag it around. You're not going to have that super crazy range of motion. Like I said, if you drag this, it's going to tell you exactly where you can put it. It would be cool if you could just put it anywhere you want, but it's going to be a little bit limited in terms of creating your landing pages. Another great feature that comes with this is going to be the pop-up builder. And once again, the bar builder, these are great when it comes to increasing your conversions. These are going to be like, where can we send your free guide? If they click on a button and something pops up, I've known that this can really help increase your conversions because it's kind of like a micro continuity. If someone clicks on a button, they are more opted to opt in, <laughs> opted to opt in. That's a funny way of saying that given the fact that they've already made an action and this is going to be the final part of it. However, I believe these are going to be slightly limited in terms of pros and cons. I would like for these to be a little bit more in depth, especially when it comes to the bar. If you look at it, they have a few layouts. Like you click on this one, it's going to change your layout. They have this one and they have this one. They are all pretty simple, pretty basic, not too bad, but I'd like if they had a little bit more templates, something more for you to play around with. It's pretty much just editing the text, the color, the button, of course, where it goes. You can click on it here, change it around and go from there. So those are some of the best features when it comes to lead pages, but they do have quite a few more things going on for them. Let's take a look at the pricing. So this is going to be with monthly. If you pay yearly, as always, you save more, but standard isn't too bad. It's only going to be $49 per month. With that, you get one website, but you do get an unlimited amount of landing pages, pop-ups, alert bars, and of course, unlimited traffic and leads. So you don't have to worry as you grow, you're not going to be, you know, charge more for more conversions like some of the landing page builders might do. Free hosting, mobile responsive, uh, integrations, tech support, and one-on-one -on -one quick start call. Once you upgrade, you will get a few more things like online sales and payments. And of course, the unlimited A-B split testing, that's going to be with the pro ones. So is lead pages worth it? Yeah, I think if you're looking for a lighter weight landing page builder, $49 per month just getting started is a pretty great price, especially when you consider the fact you get unlimited landing pages, pop-ups, alert bars, unlimited traffic and leads. If you're looking to have a website, yeah, you get one with that, which isn't too bad as well. The pros definitely far outweigh the cons. Like there's a few nitpicking things I talked about. Like it would be cool if you could get more freedom in terms of the drag and drop builder. We could put it wherever you want. Either way, it's still going to be pretty easy to figure out. I recommend going with the template that you like, changing it around so that you don't have to make a ton of edits and then you can go from there. Plus, I really like the lead meter aspect. It's a great way to give you confidence when it comes to creating and getting up and running with your lead pages. Plus, you can sort by highest converting, which as you can see, it's usually going to be the simplest one. All in all, if this is one of those landing page builders where if you have any interest in it, definitely give it a try. See how you like it. They do come with a free trial. I will put a link down below where you can get started today. That's about it. And that concludes my lead pages review. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if not, I'll see you in my next video.